Okay, we're over here at the KiteFinder Foil School and our teacher of today is... Michael from Levitas. Okay, Michael, if I want to start kite foiling, where should I start? Um, you, should, you should look for a spot where you have deep water enough. Uh, you see our mast is around 90 centimeters long, so you need to be in deep water um, to start foiling. Oh, perfect. And uh, gear-wise, because we can see there's a lot of different stuff. If I look at this board, I see uh, two straps in the front, no strap in the back. What is best? Um, the best for starting foiling um, is with straps, or at least two straps at the front. Um, and optional, you can use the third strap at the back as well. Oh, perfect. And, uh, you know, we use the foil, but we can see different sizes of boards as well. Um, yeah, at the beginning, you will do the rodeo when you start foiling, because you will go up and down again. Yep. So for the beginning you need a bigger board, like our board here on the side. Show you this one. It's bigger and when you uh, come out of the water and then go down again, yeah, you need here a rocker, a big board, uh, to stay in the riding. Ah, so it's uh, like a cushion. Ah, nice. Yes, well, something like this. <laughs> and then uh, when we uh, when we go down a little bit more, we can uh, we can see a lot more uh, beautiful uh, shiny uh, carbon. Uh, what can you tell us about this? So um, basically, it's like that. If you have big wings, a big front wing and a big rear wing, um, you need a lower speed to take off to get on the foil. So for beginners, it's more stable with big wings and easier because you need less uh, speed. Yeah. Okay, so the faster you go, the, the smaller everything on the bottom needs to be. Is there a difference uh, in the length of row as, uh, as the bottom, uh, the bottom part? Um, yeah, you can choose different uh, uh, beam in the middle, the connection between the front and the rear wing. Um, you can change uh, the length as well. Uh, and what does it do for your riding? Um, if it's longer, it's more stable in this axis. Oh, yeah? gets more stable. And if it's more short, um, the board gets more, um, how do I say, it turns faster. Ah, so you can make uh, make shorter turns and it gets a little bit more playful. Yes. Ah, perfect. Well, boys and girls, if you don't have enough information yet about how starting to foil, I don't know, but uh, just start and get yourself some. <laughs>